Hey YouTube, this is Drizzle. Uh, I wanted to do a video here. Again, this is a follow-up uh, to the free sync issue I was having before on my Samsung uh, CF791 Ultra Wide, where free sync uh, Extreme Engine was causing uh, like screen blackouts and uh, wasn't really working correctly. I think I have a solution for the problem. Um, I don't know about the flickering side of it yet because I know a lot of people have had problems with with that where it causes uh, flickering in games where like it wasn't going black but there's a lot of like rippling effect or like light flickering but uh, I haven't seen that issue either since I came across what I think is the solution. Um, I found it on the AMD forum where somebody else was having the same problem here back in December. I don't know what monitor they have. Um, it looks like it's an ultra wide as well, but his was 144 hertz. It says I don't know if you can read this or not. Uh, I've got the, the camera as close as I can while still being mounted and stationary. It's kind of hard to to hold it while I want to show you some of the stuff I want to run. But basically, what he says he did was he went into uh, the Catalyst Control Center, or I guess it's called the Crimson Control Center now, and he changed the color depth from 8 bit to 6 bit, which you would think would reduce the image quality. And maybe it does, but I can't tell the difference by looking at it. So what what I think this is doing is reducing the amount of bandwidth required to handle FreeSync across the cable. I think maybe FreeSync, uh, the variable nature of the refresh rate might sometimes overload the bandwidth necessary, or maybe it's, I don't know. It's, I think it's probably driver related and they need to fix it. And obviously it's been going on at least for a little while and it hasn't been fixed, but Whatever. He said that he changed it from 8-bit to 6-bit, and it completely resolved his issue. And I've tried it here, and I've tried two games so far that used to have a lot of, like, the screen would go black, and uh, it seems to be working. So, anyways, let me show you how to get in here and resolve this problem. Try to move this. Hopefully, again, this is at kind of an angle. Hopefully you can see it, but if not, I'll just describe it and you should be able to follow along. And if you have questions, just ask them in the comment section below. But you go in, open up your uh, Radeon Crimson Control Center, go into Preferences, and then click Radeon Additional Settings. And give it a second here, and it should open up uh, this window here. And it says uh, My Digital Flat Panels, Properties of Digital Flat Panel, and it just mentions like the monitor name and maximum resolution, refresh rate, that kind of thing. But it mentions color depth and you have an option, like in this monitor again was 8-bit and I turned it down to 6-bit, you hit apply and uh, after doing so that, it seems like it has solved my issue. So I'm going to go ahead and load up a game and hopefully it doesn't do something crazy here and prove me wrong. I tested Dark Souls 3 and I tested Portal, which before was just rife with constant conking out and so forth. Let me make sure that I do in fact have that extreme engine on or I'm going to be looking like an idiot here. Uh, FreeSync engine is on and there it says my refresh rate range is 48 to 100 hertz. I don't know if, if that's visible to you on the camera or not, but that's what it says, 48 to 100 hertz. So we know the extreme engine is enabled. And um, Dark Souls 3 is actually a good example game to test because they capped their frame rate out, right out at 60 in that game. It's, uh, it's hard coded into the game so you can't uncap it that I'm aware of at least because apparently it actually screws the game up if you try to go beyond 60 frames a second so they, they coded it to that because that's what it runs at on consoles and so that's kind of the lower range of the extreme engine frequency band and yet it worked fine for me like I say it stayed smooth so I'll load Dark Souls 3 up because like I can see that's a good example and then I'll do portal again real quick um, this is going to load in windowed mode initially and I have to force it into full screen. I had to hex edit the game so it would run in ultra wide because Dark Souls games are not designed to run uh, in, you know, in a 21 by 9 format. I can't tell the difference between 8-bit and 6-bit. This looks just as good to me. So we'll see. It's a little loud. I'll turn that down. Sorry about that. Alright. I'm going to do a new patch, they said. I will load up here real quick and just see if I have any issues. You notice, though, like it didn't go black at all. There was no weirdness. Uh, I didn't have to lose anything. 
Now you can see in the bottom left hand corner, I think maybe you can't on the camera, but I've got fraps going and it's running at a constant 60 frames per second. And there's no image tearing. It's very smooth. It's not as smooth as it would be if it could go to 100 hertz, obviously, but it's, it's quite smooth. Um, I don't see any flickering of any kind that I can notice. There's no black screening or crashing or any bullshit. I was having that problem again earlier today where it was doing that. Like, just even on the desktop, I played Doom for like 10 minutes, and when I closed it out, it kept going in and out of sleep mode on me until I, uh, until I actually physically shut the monitor off for like a minute, and then uh, it worked after I turned it back on. But it's like it gets... I don't know what the hell's wrong with, wrong with it, frankly, but... Let me run around here real quick and see if I can not get killed. I'm not very good at uh, this type of a game, quite frankly. I bought it because it was on sale. I don't think there's any flickering yet. If you see some, you know, point it out to me at what point in the video you think you see it, but so far I, uh, I think it looks right. So, that's Dark Souls 3. Um, doesn't appear to flicker, doesn't appear to lose connection to the game or anything like that. No tearing. It's right in the perfect range between 48 and 100 hertz. A great game to test with. So that seems to be working. I'll tab out of that and we'll load up Portal, which was the other game that I constantly had issues with. Uh, I don't really even play Portal that much, but it was just like a game that I knew I could get great frame rates in. So this one will sit right at 99 all the time because it's an old game engine. Once I load it anyway. But you see, like before, when I would load it up, I think I showed it in my last video where I was kind of doing the recap of FreeSync issues. Um, like just getting the game to load, clicking any of the menu items would quite often cause the screen to kind of blank out for a second and recover and it would just do that all the time. And actually I did finally get um, an error message. Like if I could get the monitor to recover fast enough, it had mentioned that like the, the link had stopped responding and had recovered. It was a, like a little graphics driver error message in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now you can see, I mean, this is butter smooth. Uh, again, I don't know if you can see my fraps indicator, but it's just sitting at 99 constantly because I intentionally cap that out in the driver. Like I go in and uh, let me show you where you do that real quick. Go into gaming and global settings. And down here in the bottom left corner is a frame rate control, target control. And you just toggle that on, and then you move the bar to where you want it to go. It seems like apparently if you set it to 100, it can kind of sometimes jump to like 101 or 102, which breaks your um, free sync range cap, and then it's like you, you can get tearing or it causes other aberrant behavior. But if you set it right at 99, like the highest it'll ever get is 99. Sometimes it'll like flop to 100 for half a second, but it's never getting out of the free sync range, and so it continues to work. Now look how perfectly that loaded. Like there was no brief second of screen blacking out and coming back up uh, I mean I could be wrong I haven't tested any other games with these two so far but it does appear that this resolves uh, I haven't seen any fl flickering in this game either um, I'm trying to think of another game I might have where flickering was something I had noticed um, I, I really can't think of any other games where it had really done a lot of, had a lot of problems. The flickering was kind of an aberrant thing. I usually kept it on standard engine too because I was having so much problem with the extreme engine. But if this is a resolution, I mean, I don't like having to turn down the color depth. But again, looking at it, I can't tell the difference. So, um, you know, ignorance is bliss, I guess. Like, I would never be able to look at this and tell you that it was 8-bit or 6-bit or 10-bit or 12-bit or anything like that. Uh, it all looks, it looks identical to me. I'm kind of Surprised, I thought it would be a little bit washed out or it would be a little bit pixelated looking or something, but nope, seems to be all right. So, with that said, uh, if anybody has any questions, please put them in the comment section. 
or you can send me uh, like a message in the discussion section of my channel. Um, I will check that very, you know, periodically. I should get an email sent to my phone, you know, when I get like questions or anything on my channel. So if anybody has any of those, please let me know. But otherwise, I think we have resolved the problem with the Samsung CF 791 flickering and issues of the screen blacking out in FreeSync. Uh, if I if I find further games that crap out or have problems, I'll either take this video down or I'll make an amendment video or I'll put something in the uh, you know in the comment section. Like I'll pin a comment that explains. You know, maybe I did find another game where it has a problem. But for right now, it works perfect. So again, this has been Drizzle, and I appreciate people watching. If you like my content, please click the like button and or go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I'll keep putting out more videos as I, uh, as I find things that I think will be useful to people. Or I'll do, you know, more gameplay footage. But thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.